Thank you, Madam Speaker. Um, you know, I wasn't going to speak on this bill today, but uh, earlier I had a meeting, and it just really made me reflect on equity in education. Um, I had a meeting uh, for a group that was from a more affluent area in the Puget Sound, talking about making meals from scratch and making sure that kids had access to, to certain activities. And all I could think about, Madam Speaker, is that I don't think I've seen my kids' uh, schools around our tribal areas, our more low-income Latino areas, have fresh fruits or vegetables on their plates. Madam Speaker, I have some schools that don't have heat and never had air conditioning. Um, schools where you can't drink the water. I go into tours, and one time uh, this last past week, I went to a, a basketball game and there was a bucket, and you had to walk around it because the roof was leaking at the school. There's definitely an, ed, an unequal representation of education when you have kids freezing, trying to learn, and it's negative 20, and there's no heat, Madam Speaker. I went to my kid's library, and I was pulling back the science books, and the newest one I could find was 1976. I asked my son why he didn't have a book when he missed a lot of school from being ill. He said, our school doesn't have any books, Mom. They don't have enough books. I actually did contact the teacher, and he said, I'm sorry, the, the class is too large. We do not have access to books to offer them to the students who are ill. Madam Speaker, this is not equitable in education. We need to do better. And we need to start listening to those students anywhere in the state of Washington that are cold, hungry, and not unable to even get a book to learn from. We really need to look at education in Washington State, Madam Speaker, and I commend this bill to you, and I'm proud and happy that we are looking at it. Thank you, Madam Speaker.